start off Friday, we got breakfast at IHOP here in Augusta, and I just got the strawberries and cream crepe and made it a combo with scrambled eggs and bacon and hash browns. It was really good. Didn't finish at all. <laughs> And welcome to our cabin. This is the little sign that greeted us when we got to the cabin. And I'm just going to show you a picture of the outside of the cabin. It was much bigger than the cabin we stayed at in Tennessee. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'll link it down below. Also, here's my outfit on the first day. Just rolling into the room looking cute. Trying to look cute. <laughs> here's our bedroom. Nothing too amazing. There was a TV, so that's what counts. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, what you just saw was the main living room area. I just did a little video of that. Here is the master bedroom where my fiance's parents stayed. This is the master bath that went with that. Very nice. It also had a shower as well. I just didn't take a picture. And then we go up the stairs, and there's this nice little cowhide on the wall. Pretty cool. And once you get up the stairs directly up there, there is a little nook with two chairs and a little metal table, which I'm sitting at so you don't see that table, and another little table with a phone on it. I like hanging up out hanging out up here and just drinking coffee. It was very relaxing. Lastly, upstairs, besides our room, there was a spare bedroom that nobody used, and that's what this looks like. All right, I'll be back in a moment. And here, in my opinion, is the coolest room in the house. It is the basement room, which you have to come down several flights of stairs. This is not our room, though. I'm windy from coming down the stairs. It has a nice big TV, a little living quarters, a foosball table, quite a few VHS's for you to watch, that's interesting, a bathroom, and for some reason throughout the entire house there is quite a few locked doors, not creepy at all. Over here we have a double doors that goes outside, which right now it's raining, and there's a fire pit outside too. Pretty cool. Over here is the sleeping quarters for this. Another locked door. Oh, and there's laundry room over there. Excuse me. But this is the sleeping quarters, which has two bedrooms. Well, two beds, one bedroom. Nice little dresser, heater slash air conditioner. And this cool closet, which I can't figure out how to turn the light on, so it will be dark, has, um... Beanbag toss, I think it's called cornhole. It's got the beanbags up there, towels, blankets, quite a few board games and stuff. Some very vintagey board games. Ooh. Tic tac toe, three in a row, four in a row, I can't remember what it's called. A few other things, clothes hangers, and some fake plants. Okay, I will get back to y'all when I see more things in the cabin. Or when we do more things later the later today or tomorrow. See you there my bunnies. And lastly for my tour of the cabin I just wanted to show you some outside amenities like this giant fire pit with four seats and the amazing hot tub which I did get in but no I did not take pictures because I don't want y'all to go blind with me in a bikini. But this is the inside of it. It could easily sit 10 people so it was very comfortable and very relaxing. Last, lastly on the little tour there was a little stream nearby and I just thought it was the cutest thing. And I just took a picture from the road of what it looks like outside. Very relaxing. And next, we went on ahead and went out for eat, out to eat for dinner. I can't talk. And we went to this peddler steakhouse. Here's a quick little video of the menu. <laughs> so what I got to eat at the peddler steakhouse was unlimited bread and unlimited soup. And the soup's French onion soup, and it came with the meal, but, like, they didn't have cheese or bread to go in the soup. So that was a little disappointing. For my entree, I got the shrimp skewer with onion slices in between, teriyaki sauce, and fries. The teriyaki sauce is very spicy, so if you like spicy, I recommend it.
Welcome to Tweetsie Railroad's Day Out with Thomas the Train. This is the main reason we went this weekend because my fiance has a little brother who's about two and he's obsessed with Thomas the Train. The prices for this weekend, as you can see here, excuse me, were 45 for adults, 30 for children, and free until they're three. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the prices might be a like a year around. If I can talk, they might be like that year round. And this is the main entrance, very cute. And then after that, you could also kind of see some of the small rides they had. They're pretty small rides, but, you know, this is a family place. So the first thing we did was ride a couple of the rides, and then we went on ahead and took the chairlift up, which you'll see now. Look out there! It's so beautiful! So many mountains. Next we went to a petting zoo and I'm not going to talk too much there in this. I'm just going to like lay some music over it so you can just watch the entirety of it. So I hope you all enjoy. And some of the animals are named on their little name cards and some of them I didn't remember to take pictures of the name cards like this. But I hope you all enjoy this. Thanks. So after the petting zoo, we decided to walk around a little, and they had little photo areas like this, which I thought were really cute. Then after that, we decided to look at the different places, like Mouse Mine, Miner's Diner, things like that, just walking around. And here's a map of the whole place. So we decided that we were getting a little bored with the upper area, and we would take the sky buckets back down the mountain, which you can see a picture here. And after that, we decided to go to a place to get food and snacks called Fudge Works. And as you can see, it has a lot of different types of fudge, but not just fudge. <laughs> it has all these different things that you'll see in these pictures, and I did get a bunch of it, but it wasn't just for me. Please don't think I'm that fat. It's for my mom, my sister, and my grandmother, and I. So, it's a, it's about four or five people that's going to be eating on this stuff, because my fiancé might eat some too. I don't know. And here's more sweets. Obviously, they had a lot of sweets, and they had free samples in the store, so that was so nice. I enjoyed that a lot. 
and I'm trying to think of what else to say. Candied apple, so cute. There was just so much to choose from, and it was a really small store, so if you go, you might be a little bit cramped, but it's so worth it. The little blue things right there, they're Thomas to train marshmallows. So cute! Lastly, this is the different chocolate I got to take home. Now I'll be back in just a moment. Bye! Yeah. After we did our own thing, we met back up with my fiance and his parents and his parents in laws, and we decided to go to this little area. and There were different things to do, and we eventually ended up at this place called Something Palace. I can't remember the name, where they had this table and different things for kids to do, and they also had shows, which I'll show you a little snippet right now. <laughs> Next, it was about our time to ride the train. We had a 2.30 ride, so they told us to get there by like 2.15. So we decided to get here early and watch the train take off before it was our turn. Here's a little video of that. Thomas is about to take off. Most of blowing. He's got like five passenger cars. And it talks and its eyes move. It's creepy. I don't even know if y'all can hear me though. Look at that. That's a bubble over there. And we haven't ridden on it yet. We will shortly though. We're about to go to eat. And we're eating at Feed and Seed. Stop on the video to turn your headphones down. There he goes. Loudness morning. Writing that shortly. See you then. Loud this morning. Alright, I'm just doing a voiceover for this part because this part they did a little scene with cowboys and Indians, but we weren't even close enough to even see it, much less hear it. But it made the ride a little longer. After that we just did a little photo out with a few places, but I'm just going to put this one here. And I also wanted to show y'all this. This is some of the characters from Thomas the Train, and I just think this is so creepy, but it's just the thing for kids to take pictures with. Freaky. Twirl around the gift shop. I want to the old timer in the stall over here. You have your gun? Hey, if you don't mind, have I close the door? I'm in here. 
Lastly, to end the day, we decided to leave the place. Well, the place closes at like 4 or 5, so they close pretty early because it's for kids. And we decided to eat dinner at the Cracker Barrel, and I got this fried whitefish, I think it was, and it came with three sides, which you can't even see in my baked potato, but it's huge. It's on its own whole plate. And I got corn and mac and cheese. For dessert, I also got the new s'mores latte, which this is just a little paper for it. And I got it iced, and this is what it actually looked like. It looks so identical to the picture, and it tasted so good. It needs a little more creamer to me, but that's just me. That's the end of the day. Last but certainly not least, we decided to stop somewhere to eat on the way home, and we stopped at this place called Fuddruckers in South Carolina. Surprisingly, Georgia doesn't have a Fuddruckers, at least not in Augusta or Hepsiba, Georgia. And you get whatever you want, a dog or a hot dog, and the toppings are unlimited. You can get unlimited sauces, unlimited lettuce, tomato, pickle, ketchup, whatever. All the toppings are unlimited, and they're out there where you can just grab them and put them on the stuff. Very nice and very convenient. And this is actually my favorite meal of the trip. So if you're going to try anywhere, I would try Fuddruckers. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.